So, Miss Watson, what are you doing today? Well, today I'm collecting some for example for analysis. Um, right now, I am calculating or collecting the initial weight so that we can actually get the dry weight or the dry matter of the asparagus. On this scale here, we have uh, some ackee leaves. And the ackee leaves uh, is one of the ingredients that the farmer uses to feed his uh, goats. In addition to using the ackee leaves, the farmer actually uses other ingredients such as king grass, napier, guinea grass, hog waste, quick stick, brewer's grain, corn, as well as the, the concentrates. So what we are trying to do is to find the best mix of ingredients for the animals that is locally available to the farmers. So instead of our farmers worrying about what to feed our goats or the high price in the concentrate, they can use things that are readily available to them to feed their animal, which will improve and maintain their nutritional status. So who is partnering with you on this type of research or data collection? All right, so for this research, it's actually a collaboration between Langston University, Case and RADA analysis and the hyper who will be doing the other analysis such as the crude protein, etc. Alright, so Peter gave me in our samples to make sure she labeled them. Um, location important, um, the, the type of the sample, the date, she captured the weight, she carried the bottles to get dried and get what you call the fresh weight dry matter. Um, important, as you know, ruminants eat dry matter. So if you eliminate the water out of it, you know what we're getting. The actual nutrients from the plant. Uh, Mr. Fletcher in the back there who carried us to the farmer. He's, he's our tour guide in Tegui at work. So Rada is here helping you to collect the information on your forages. Um, then to send you back probably a, a database that they can use to know when to feed the animals or how to feed them with the particular different ingredients. Do you think this would benefit your operation? Yes, I think. Um, give us some of the main forages that you use on your farm. King grass, guinea grass, paro grass, hockey leaves, sometimes mango leaves. Just run about there. So do you have any knowledge of how to feed them or um, say you do not mix? I'll show you mix them together. No, not really. No. Okay. I just feed. Just feed? Yes, that's all. Alright, cool. So guys, an important thing about this component is to basically collect data on different forages across the island so you can develop a database specific to the location that will help my job in doing proper formulation for farmers when we have a, a data set that can tell us what different grass types or ingredients the, the proximate analysis look like in that specific location. So it's like... So Peter gave you our king grass sample. And that she in her own her neck is our quadrant that she'll use to do our our dry matter yield test or our yield test. So we can actually get a, a data set on what yields are getting from the grass again specific to the location. So she have on a nice chain. Thank our you. quadrant chain. Hey Peter Gay. Thank you. <laughs> right, so we're collecting grab samples of this plant. Centra Sima, it's a high protein trailing legume, excellent crop. And you're a lot of farmers use and always talk about them called the trumpet. So we have trumpet, we have Centra Sima, and Peter Gia cut up our king grass with scissors. Let's go. Freedom. Thanks to Farmer Khalil for the Mombasa Street.